Hello again. So everybody says that you should sand a case first, so I picked up some wet and dry sandpaper and uh, tried it on a test piece. I went up to uh, 600 grit on it and uh, to be honest when I sprayed this, the test piece and a uh, piece that I hadn't touched yet the uh, primer results were exactly the same. So uh, I've not bothered sanding the rest of the case I'm sure Billowin or any other normal spray guru will throttle me for that. But uh, the finish does look quite good so far. Here you can see I'm putting primer on. And uh, to save you a bit of boredom, I've uh, skipped a few sections. And uh, as you can see, I'm just doing a quick overview of everything. Um, that's the hard drive cage just there and the IO ports and uh, it does look quite good even just with primer on that's part of the power supply uh, mount and there's the CD base moving on to the green now this stuff is brilliant but it, as you can tell there's just clouds and clouds of stuff everywhere make sure that uh, you wear a mask if you're going to be spray painting for long periods or any period at all really otherwise you'll end up inhaling all of this dust and whatever color that your paint is when you blow your nose or fart or sneeze or cough or whatever you happen to doing whatever other bodily functions you may be inflicted with you will find that it is that color that's quite good for parties I imagine farting bright green but uh, not something that you should be doing on a regular basis um, there's lots of masks available that you can get uh, ranging from just uh, an everyday kind of cotton mask that you put over similar to the bird flu masks that we had a while ago uh, ranging to a full blown full over the face jobby um, as you can see I'm going quite slowly on some of these uh, and this is only the first coat I'll be putting on a second coat as well although I'll be sparing you the details of that as well as you can see I've had to use uh, a shroud for the uh, hard drive bays these with holes in because what I was finding was the spray was going through the holes and hitting the, pace, the area behind and I was getting um, spots on the other side so that's no good so I've had to mask that off while I was spraying my kingdom for some kind of real spraying area with an extractor fan and something but for the meantime I've had to make do with a do-it-yourself piece of cardboard and some windows open and it's just not the same I envy all these people with with real painting areas move your hand you idiot there we go who put that camera there oh wait it was me now I'll be taking some photos of these later on and putting them up in the the work logs um, although the video is good um, of the the finished article photos take it so much better so I'll be doing that later on look at those clouds of dust and overspray just coming off all over the place. I've got a green floor from the overspray. It's all over the desk. It's a nightmare. Thankfully when it dries it seems to just wipe off so I can only assume it's just a powder powder form rather than uh, wet paint still. And I'm just changing the directions of where I'm spraying so that I make sure I get all the bits that I may have missed because you can't spray in a 360 area especially when I'm spraying with a cardboard background. not far off now the worst part I found was spraying the insides of these drive bays it's very difficult to get in there I thought about bending it in half and uh, laying it out flat and spraying it but I think that might be more trouble than it's worth and uh, as you can see my spray can is desperately trying to run out 
so uh, we'll call that a day I won't be, won't be doing any more spray painting videos but I will be showing you the results later on cheers bye